This is the Thieves Guild Landmark Bundle. Uh, we built this thing out on four of our Dread Hollow Forest terrain trays to give you a sense of context, but they are not included in the uh, bundle. Uh, but it shows you you could build this on any sort of surface from sculpted terrain to our terrain trays or battle boards or an existing battle map you might have, and it's going to look awesome. Uh, the point of this build was verticality, right? We wanted to showcase, hey, are there, uh, what can we do with the scaffolding and the bridges and a couple, just a couple of small buildings and get you some cool vertical play and dynamic combat. The, uh, this place is supposed to feel like it's both ramshackle and fortified, and you're not quite sure if you're trying to sneak in or attack it wherever. You're not sure sort of where you're going in, where people are coming out. There's a lot of entrances and exits, uh, a lot of ways to move around, so it should hopefully be very dynamic. So starting off in this front edge, uh, we have a, a barricade, sort of our first fortified position set up, and it starts with we have a small barricade piece in there to kind of support it, and then a bunch of these loose bits sort of all leaned up together. We've got boarded up window inserts. We've got the uh, broken panels from the secret door wall leaning up against there. We have one of the stairs, corner stairs, just tilted on the end, and this is one uh, leftover railing, uh, narrow railing, flipped upside down and adding to the uh, to the mix. So it gives a pretty good spot for some cover, makes uh, moving a little more difficult, uh, and also just gives it a, a feel of like danger, stay away. This is the sort of most obvious ways to kind of enter is up these stairs here. These are both 38 millimeter stairs. Uh, they're all affixed to this thing sort of all anchored by one of our uh, narrow scaffolding platforms, and it's suspended between a pair of our um, uh, stair pillars and then everything's biscuited together to hold it all tight so you can put minis up there and nothing's gonna fall down. Uh, once you're up here, we can head on this direction. This is the uh, secret door panel. This is a solid one. Uh, this thing does a lot of heavy lifting. We use it all over the place uh, because it's just, it's a wonderfully versatile little plank. There's a lot to be said for the humble plank of wood. Uh, so this one is bridging us over to another one of those stair pillars and that stair pillar is then hemming up another 38 millimeter set of stairs to a simple balcony. Uh, and this is a this is a building technique you could probably do a lot. It's just taking one of these same narrow um, scaffolding platforms. In this case, it's biscuited right to the floor of the second second story. Uh, so it's nice and secure. Cantilever it off, no problem. And then we put a four inch railing and a narrow railing on there to um, so nobody will fall off. But really in this case, it's probably to protect uh, people so they can spy on anybody coming at them. And then here is First obvious entrance to the building. This is a big, heavily fortified uh, speakeasy door with all those uh, bolts and bars and whatnot. Tough, tough way to uh, try and hack down there. But there are many other ways in this building. Let's come on over here. You see, there is a uh, this is our hanging ladder, which is attached to the uh, corner railing platform, and this is biscuited to the side of the building. So once again, it can just suspend off, super secure. You can pop a mini up there. And you can actually slot a mini in between the rungs of the ladder if they're part way up here. And at the top, there is a, a door so you could get in on the second story from this side. But also, this wall has a little surprise. There is, let me get you some in there. Whoop. A secret door panel. You can pop that panel out. Uh, the secret door wall has solid panels you could put on the inside or the outside. And these broken panels, you can put a half of one or two of them to seal it up, break it away. Why not? Very versatile piece and a very fun reveal that you can do at the table. Uh, you could also just leave it partially open and like, let the players spot it, make it a little more obvious or something if you wanted. Make a little ramp up into it, something like that. Uh, working our way up and around. So if you didn't head this way and you headed up over here, we have once again a two inch railing just popped into the side of the platform. Uh, we're using the corner stairs here to get us a little step up and then another the secret door solid panels we use this thing all the time this time it's flipped up so the slats there will give you a little more traction as you're working your way up to this uh, balcony and this balcony is built the same as the other one just a uh, it's the narrow platform biscuited to the side of the building so it's nice and secure throw a couple railings on uh, in this case we put the sliding whole accessory clip holder there so we could then add this hoist and you can use this hoist for uh, like pulling up your ill-gotten goods or something. Or there could be some shenanigans once you're on the table. Maybe one of the players wants to grab it and swing out or drop a rope and catch some bandit down below or who knows what. Uh, and then there's a regular door 
over here in the corner you could get in there and the side of the building has a corbel which you could use this we could have attached the hoist into that pole accessory hole uh, you could also players can use this to climb up to the roof or who knows what below this balcony uh, we have another little fortified position so this is two of our diagonal scaffolding platforms with a two inch uh, railings on them and then this is a magnetic trapdoor frame with a trapdoor in there uh, serving as a little makeshift door. It's just propped up against there. It would be kind of tough. Maybe a medium-sized creature would have to squeeze through, but a, a gnome or a halfling could just sort of zip through. And then these are the corner stairs kind of transitioning us up from table level up to uh, the front of that. And then behind it, you can see uh, we've got one of our windows there with the uh, one of our new window pane inserts. This is the stitched up vellum insert. Uh, it looks. Let's see. Let's look at one of the other windows. Put that in all these so they have a... Uh, Nice cohesive feel. So it gives that a ton of personality to that window. Looks like stitched up vellum or leather or ooh, maybe that's human skin. Who knows? It's whatever <laughs> whatever you want as a DM. Um, then moving our way over the side of this building, we have another that speakeasy door there, a nice armored door. And this is a boarded up window panel. This uh, is a window insert. You could put this in instead of the window panes. You could pop this in to really give it a sort of a sealed up, abandoned, uh, fortified feel if you wanted. Or in this case, we're just using the insert against the wall as some scatter potential for a cover. Uh, and then there's a maybe a slightly suspicious ladder just leading up the side of the building. It's that same hanging ladder. You can slot minis in there. And at the top, we have secret door number two. You could pop that panel open you know, for a surprise attack or a fun reveal. Or maybe the players see it and they can sneak in that way if they'd like. Moving up to the roof here, we have the roof of this building is using our four straight roofs all put together to give, make a, like a traditional roof shape. Whereas uh, the roof of this building is taking the four hips uh, to make a more tower style roof. It's like a square pyramid roof over here. So each one has a little bit of personality. I've got some magnetic accessories on it. We have the magnetic chimney so the the roofs all have the metal panels in them and magnetic accessories so you can move them around and uh put your stuff wherever you'd like on there uh we have this is the trapdoor frame and trapdoor so you can pop that thing open we're using that as a way to get up onto the roof uh, and enable some some super high level combat and then we're using the um the magnetic perches here uh as a so first place for your minis to hop out of the trap door stand here uh there's a pair of them side by side and then on the top this is uh our fourth narrow scaffolding platform we're using the uh, pegs that are in the bottom of it and pegging it right to the roof so it's super super secure uh you could put tons of minis on there and not worry about them falling off and then the uh stairs are are biscuited right into the side of that so this whole thing once we put it together using our new biscuit system it becomes one secure unit, right? So you can lift this thing up, fly it around, reveal what's inside if you need for combat, um, and nothing's going to uh, fall off. Uh, very fun to build with. Although, minis may fall off in combat, which would be part of the adventure, right? You kick somebody off the uh, side of this thing, uh, especially if you're crossing over this six-inch narrow bridge, right? This is definitely one of the more fun pieces, uh, long, narrow, dangerous span. Uh, it's attached to the magnetic perches on either side and just choop, sticks right to the roof with the magnets. And that takes us over to our last little hiding spot here. We have the magnetic perch and it has this two inch railing uh, pegged against it using the biscuit holes. Uh, you can put these railings on anywhere there's a biscuit hole. You can pop them in there, be it a floor, be it uh, one of these perches, anything you like. And it makes a nice little fortified position. And we have our other pull accessory uh, holder here and uh, this is the spyglass, so this is the ultimate place to scout. So hopefully this will inspire you with some of the things you could uh, create with it, this sort of landmark, lots of verticality. Uh, you could use this for a thieves guild or a bandit hideout or your slums or maybe like a really rundown uh, homestead or farm or the like, whatever your imagination takes you. Hopefully this landmark will inspire you.